Hello everyone. Previously, we already did permutation and combination that we can use calculator. But since 2025, you have paper one that you cannot use calculator. So if permutation combination question appear in paper one, how can you do? Let's go. In front of your exam paper, this part is actually NCR, which means the formula of NCR already given you in the formula sheet. See this formula, we are learning mathematics, but why we will have exclamation mark here? So in MX, this thing is not exclamation mark, but we will call it factorial. So what is the meaning of five factorial? Very easy. It means we slowly start from five. Minus one become four. Minus one become three. Minus one become two. Minus one become one. From five all the way decreasing until one and all of them, we times them together. 120. So what is the meaning of n factorial, which means we start from n, decrease by 1, decrease one more, decrease one more, all the way until you get 1. And then if you only want to do right until n minus 3, then we continue the exclamation mark here. So what is the meaning of n minus 5 factorial? It's still the same. We start from n minus 5, minus 1 will become n minus 6, minus 1 will become n minus 7. If you want to stop here, do not want to continue to write, we put the factorial. In the previous video that we learned about how to do this combination. So they say six people to be chosen from eight men and six women. Find different teams that may be chosen if no women in the team. If no women in the team means all six of them must be men. Okay. Six men, no women. So six men means eight C, six. And then no women, 6C, 0. Okay, so what is the meaning of 8C, 6? Refer back to the formula. So 8CR is actually 8 factorial over 8 minus 6 factorial, 6 factorial. And 6C, 0 is just nothing. So you no need to count, you just focus on this. So this part, we know that 8 factorial is actually 8 times 7 times 6 factorial. So as long as we reach 6 factorial, we can stop. Why? Because the bottom there have 6 factorial. Here, 8 minus 6 factorial is 2 factorial. So as long as we have 6 factorial and 6 factorial, we can do simplify. It will be 56 over 2 times 1, which is 28. So this is how you do if discount question appear in paper 1. Next, I have a question directly tests you based on whether you know how to apply the formula. For example, this question says this nc3 equals to 5n, which means we apply formula n factorial over n minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial equals to 5n. We want to do simplify. How can we simplify? We need to make the larger part same as the smaller part so you can cut. So, n is the larger part because n will continue decrease to minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. Yes, yes, we need this n minus 3 factorial. So when you reach exactly the same, then you can cut, cut. Okay? And then this n can show here and cut with this n. So n and n also can simplify. So we will left n minus 1 times n minus 2 equals to 5. And this 6, we can show to the right-hand side, become times, so it becomes 30. So we have shown that it fulfilled this equation. We will try one more question. It's exactly the same, just that this question they ask in sentence instead of directly write the equation for you. So they say the number of combination, when I say combination means C, of five objects selected from N objects. Means that N C five. After you see is, is you put equal six times. So six times is on the right, so you put six here. 
the number of combination of four objects selected from n minus one object. So it's n minus one C4. So we write this down first, then we apply the formula. Then we can try to simplify. This is n minus 5 factorial. This is n minus 1 minus 4, which means this is also n minus 5 factorial. So if one left, one right of the equal sign, then you can cut. So next, we need to simplify n factorial and n minus 1. How can we continue to simplify n factorial and n minus 1 factorial? We see which one larger. N is larger, right? N is larger, so we use N to continue, go smaller, become N, N minus 1 factorial. We stop at N minus 1 factorial because, can you see, here have N minus 1 factorial. So later we can simplify. And then here, 5 factorial and 4 factorial, 5 is larger. So we also modify this 5 factorial, become 5. 4 factorial, we can stop because here also have 4 factorial. Then we can simplify n minus 1 factorial, n minus 1 factorial, cut, cut. This 4 factorial and this 4 factorial also you can remove. So you left n over 5 equals to 6, n equals to 30. So after we know how to do NCR formula given, then we need to see what is NPR. NPR they do not give you in formula sheet. Then how? Okay, you need to know. C is the more complicated formula. So P is the easier formula. How much easier is it? You just remove this part. So NPR is just N factorial, N minus R factorial. So this is NPR and it is less complicated. So let's have a look how to do this. We apply the formula NPR equals to N factorial over N minus R factorial. So we apply this, which is we'll get this and n minus five factorial, n minus five factorial, we can remove it. Then n factorial and n minus one factorial, we can modify the larger part, which is n. So after n, one smaller than n is n minus 1. So you will see exactly the same, n minus 1. Then ching, you get n equals to 6. We try one more by applying the formula again. So we found that n minus 10 factorial and n minus 1 minus 9 factorial is the same. This can cut. Okay, so we still have this factorial. So n is the larger one. So we reduce from n, become this. Then we can remove this. Then we can solve the balance part. 9n equals to 243 n equals to 27. So congratulations, we done how to apply the formula for NCR and NPR. No matter if you have calculator or you don't have calculator, you can solve everything from permutation and combination. So thank you for this lesson. See you next time. Bye-bye.